this is my good side if I do say so myself hey, yo, welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I edit and take my Instagram pictures so recently I have been taking more just like headshots and doing more makeup I want to get more into like full outfit shots but you guys it can be kind of hard sometimes but I'm gonna be showing you guys what I use for the most part so I like to take my pictures on my iPhone this is an iPhone 10 X I definitely need a new phone um because camera quality plus this one is breaking so since it's just me I don't have really anyone to take pictures how I like my pictures to be taken I went ahead and I got this stand off of Amazon so I have it hooked up because I'm gonna show you guys what I do but the stand I got off of Amazon and it comes with this little remote so with the remote it's Bluetooth it hooks up to your phone and then you can just start snapping away this is my good side if I do say so myself so I like to take my pictures more like this and showing this side sometimes I'll do this side but I won't smile because I have this gap and I just I don't think it's cute I'm gonna start the screen recording you guys can also see my new home screen I got the iOS 14 update I think it's super cute um, but that's not what we're talking about right now so we are going to start editing and taking some photos so I'm gonna go to the utilities I have with my camera okay um ignore that so I'm gonna set the camera up like right here so with the stand I can adjust it Ooh. Too bad today. Um, I usually like to take the pictures. I like to take some pictures with the front camera and some pictures with the back camera. So let's do them with the back camera right now and see. Is it still recording? Yeah, it is. Okay. I want to make sure it was. See if this is a good angle. And I'm going to turn the remote on. And there's a mirror like directly across from me so sometimes I can see like what I'm doing and see the face and kind of just okay let's see what we got here what I'm so mad at myself like what the heck I'm so I'm so mad at myself I didn't put the camera around like a freaking dummy wow I gotta redo all of that okay I'm, I'm so dumb. Okay, now it's at the right spot. <laughs> oh, my neck. Okay. Now, let's see. I probably should not have done that with my arms, but... Ooh, that one's good I like that one so what I like to do is I like to put a little heart on the ones that I like so that way it makes it easier when I go to find them uh, this one's not terrible either hmm. I do like this how does it look yeah. now my shoulders like all in the way and you, oh this one's cute it's like I'm innocent oh my gosh okay so with that being said, I'm going to take some from the front as well. I like the candid looking pictures, you know? This is my favorite to do, like this right here. Let me take my watch off. Hit one of these. Those ones were probably trash, but it's okay. Okay, mm -mm -mm. yeah, that one's okay. No, that one's okay. That one's okay as well. No. Okay. So now that that is done, I can go ahead and turn the remote off. Perfect. 
let's get into the editing. Okay. So to edit my pictures, I have this little tab. What is this? Okay. I have this little tab, um, photography. So first thing I like to do, obviously you guys, ugh, let me get comfy here. First thing I like to do is go in, ooh, ooh, here in my arm. Alright, first thing I like to do is go into Facetune. I usually have a little pin, but since I got my nails uh, cut down, it might be easier to edit. First thing I like to do is kind of just like see how my skin is looking in the picture. Um, I do have a pimple close to my eye. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and whiten the background. Just because on my Instagram I'm going for this aesthetic which is like a really like cool tone, white background, like nothing too crazy. I'm actually thinking about changing my whole wardrobe to all black just because it's so much easier for me. Um, and most of the time things I buy are in black anyways. So yeah. And I feel like with winter coming around it's just like why not? It's already fall and I just feel like... Again, why not? I'm gonna go to the patch tool just because I want to get rid of this pimple right there. I'm gonna make that patch smaller and so that it covers up. There we go. I'm gonna patch that and then we're just gonna smooth over it. Okay, so then we're gonna go into tones and I'm just going to kind of enhance my highlight. So I'm going to get a picker and I'm just going to run over the spot where my highlight is being hit and I'm going to select it and I'm just going to kind of intensify it. I'm going to go on the bridge of my nose as well. I'm going to go right here where my highlight is. Um, I usually like to do the inner corner just a little bit. Oops, sorry. Okay, and then of course the highlight on my cheek. Now you're gonna be like, what the heck? This looks fucking crazy. No. I like to like do dots, like tap it, because if you like swipe, it starts looking crazy. Like, you know, like that's not cute. So we're just gonna erase that, but so you can see my highlight has been intensified. And then you can go around and kind of like soften up some of the edges there we go okay so ev like I use tones a lot I use the tones tools a lot so after I do like every little section like I'll do my highlight then sometimes I'll lighten my eyes or I'll do like my baby hairs but I usually like to do them all separately so that way it's not like I just like to do them separately okay so after that I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out some of these pores of mine now that I have intensified my highlight, smooth that out, there we go, this chin, there we go, around here, I've been having a lot of texture lately, um, so yeah, we're just going to do that, and then zoom out, and you're like, oh, look, bam, 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 I'm going to smooth right here, okay. That is done. Going back into tones, I'm gonna go to picker. My baby hairs don't really look like they need any touching up. You guys know my baby hairs are thin. Usually I like to fill them in a little bit, but I'm not for this particular picture. I am, however, gonna lighten up my eyes because I've been doing that lately. Just because um, I can, because I can't have contacts. So I'm just gonna make them a lighter brown color. There we go. So pretty, oh my gosh. All right, so I had done that. We're gonna go back into tones. And I'm gonna darken up my under eye a little bit. And I'm really just showing you guys like how I edit my pictures, like the steps that I do. So it's really not like anything crazy that I be doing in here. So as you guys can see so far, 
it's not a completely different picture it's definitely like touched but yeah and sometimes like if i'm wearing a liquid lip and i just so happen to do like a pose where my mouth is like a little open and you can see the pink on the inside i will literally take the take the picker tool get the color for my lip and fill in that pink area and smooth over it a little bit because i cannot stand that like line of demarcation between your lip and the pink or the inside of your lip it's so annoying okay so let's see what else i don't think i need anything else on my eyes because my eye makeup was very simple um let's see everything else is smooth sometimes i like to see like i like to go to shape and i just like to see what i would look like if i was slimmer so like ooh. oh okay okay but we're not even gonna be seeing all that in the picture anyway because like realistically because i have sweats on and i don't want that in the picture so i'd be like this really hmm. okay anyway so we are done in oh actually let me go to my brows i'm just gonna fill them in a little bit because i feel like with the light sometimes it makes my brow look like it's missing hair so I just take the picker tool and I go to like a good color, there we go, that it selects and then yep, there we go. There it is. Yes. Alright, perfect. So now we're going to save to camera roll. I just updated my phone so now it's asking for all this permission. Okay, so next we're gonna go into PS Express. So first thing I'm going to do is go to adjustments. I swipe all the way over and I go to sharpen. And I don't do too much on the sharpen. Maybe just for like 10. Because if you do a lot, like it'll be like that, but you don't even notice it until after you save the picture where it's like you really see how much it sharpened it so yeah we're just gonna bring that down to like a 10 the highest maybe like 15 but we're gonna go to it i'll leave it 11 um the reduced luminance luminous lum, luminance i don't know that word but luminance yeah um that one's a, a cool filter or tool as well i don't use it all the time but now i'm gonna slide over so i like to go to vibrance i don't do saturation saturation makes things look orange it's too much but vibrance is different so i like to take the vibrance like you can go up and down i guess it makes it look orange too but it's not as bad as saturation so for the vibrance i will go up to about a five and that's really just to give some warmth back into my face okay so then i don't touch anything with the tint because it's either going to turn it like blue or green and I'm just I'm not messing with it and so for temperature I like to have my pictures be a little bit more cool tone so I am going to bring this down not too much because I don't want to lose too much color let's do baby like a five yeah okay so for black since most of my pictures are like black and white right now sometimes I have to like go on the scale up and down and see so I could either have it really dark, have it light, but we're gonna go to about a seven. Yeah, to about a seven. Let's go to the whites. Yeah. We're gonna bring it down. Cause anything like, cause you see all the whites, it really brings out the white in the whites, which I don't want. Not for this picture. Like I don't want it to look like too it almost it almost makes it too saturated but like for white you know um let's see so i think maybe about a, tw um, a 15 might is not bad shadows we'll leave the shadows at zero highlights so a lot of these tools i kind of just like play with and see what looks better on the picture And that one doesn't look too bad. 
contrast no so we're gonna keep that one at a zero I'm gonna hit this back button so that it just resets that specific um, adjustment so now we're gonna go into the crop I'm gonna go from right here we're gonna bring this down a little bit there we go there we go and there we go so let's see okay crop is not bad sometimes I like to like play with the rotate filter see what it looks like from this side oops there we go we can well not really rotate but like do like this or like this because sometimes like pictures that are like off centered are kind of cute you know so like if it was like that so let's see mm. I don't know if I like that, but I do want to do the picture like facing that way just because all my pictures are facing the other way. So let's go back into crop um, and let's just straighten it out honestly. There we go. There we go. I should have fixed these flyaways. What the heck? And y'all didn't say nothing. No fake. Just kidding. Oh yeah, this is like, I don't know. What is going on with my hair? I didn't even realize any of this. Yeah, because this would be too close and I don't want that. I think this is a good distance, honestly. I'm going to post this picture anyway on the gram because why not? Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and save to camera roll. The cool thing I like about this is that, let's say you have pictures that like, if you're like really big or like if you do like these really creative looks, you can watermark using this one so like for instance if you want to add a watermark i think i have one saved on here yeah shamari's world so what the cancel okay anyway but yeah so you can like have a watermark on here and then it has like all these dots where you could like put it and you can like mess with the opacity, the size of it. So that way it's like no one's stealing your images without giving you credit because it's on your picture. Um, but we're just gonna cancel all that because I don't think anyone's out there stealing my pictures and if they are, um, stop. So after that, that's really it. I have all these other apps. Like I have Visco Cam, but that's for like when I do like pictures that are like scenery and stuff. Um, but for the most part, it is just Facetune and um, PS Express. I don't use Lightroom. I use Canva for when I want to do um, like thumbnails and um, IG story posts. But yes, so that was really it you guys how i edit my instagram pictures but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think what other apps you guys use i like to keep it very simple i know some people use like 12 different apps but if you think about it a lot of the apps have the same functions so i like to just keep it sweet and simple but until next time you guys i love you and bye